Hey you guys, it's Jman37x here bringing you the Epic Battle Fantasy V Public Beta. This is going to be mostly just a video showing off the first, like, handful of minutes of gameplay as well as a lot of the other stuff, uh, like the menus and, and, uh, and, and like other, other things besides the gameplay itself. <clears throat> I want to try and save most of the gameplay for when I'm actually covering the game for the first time. So when I'm live streaming it for the first time is when my, where you're gonna get the actual reactions like of me getting to the er different areas and discovering new stuff about the game, um, and then I think the YouTube series is gonna be more of like, you know, a bit more refined. But anyway, I'll I'll get into that uh, once once I have like a confirmed release date. I think. <clears throat> so before we actually start the game, I want to show off um, the stuff that happens right before. I wanted to start on the title screen, just so you guys know I'm gonna be doing full screen, you know, for the video. But here you have these like borders and stuff. Um, so when you first set up the game, you have the traditional Epic Battle Fantasy, you know, slime, uh, bursting thing that you can do while the you wait for the game to load. Of course, for me at least, the game doesn't take very long to load, and probably for a lot of people these days, it, uh, loads pretty quick. But, um, also as per usual though, there is an achievement related to this. If you get 100, which I already did off screen, because I wanted to see if there actually was an achievement. Um, if you're getting 100, you get a medal. But, uh, anyway, so we go ahead and hit play here. Shows the logo, of course. <clears throat> then we get a little bit of an intro animation. So cute. I didn't notice the little meow the first time I watched it. Whee. So that I'm assuming there might there probably will be a longer animation for that later on, but uh even if there's not, honestly, that's that's a nice little animation, so showing off the new character. Uh, so here's the options, I've already seen this a couple of times now from the, the previous uh, battle demo and map demos. Oh, we got the medals here. As you can see, very first one for getting 100 of the dead slimes there. Um, got presumably all the actual medals that are going to be in the game. Uh, I think they all work too, so you can get a lot of these. There's some that involve like beating the final boss. Yeah, you can't do that in the demo. Um, it says here, it's the public demo, or public beta I mean. Uh, final boss, some of the music, translation, yeah, so if you notice, you go to translations, and it just does that. <laughs> so, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit unsettling for me, but, uh, yeah, so the translations haven't been done yet. And saves may not be compatible. I don't, I don't plan on using these saves for the future anyway. Sorry about that. Uh, there's some, like, helicopter or something flying horribly close, close by, so. Anywho, here we have credits. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Jeez. Not expected to be uh, for helicopters to be flying around this time of day. So it's just showing off. We got Matt, we got uh, Fruna, Ranja, who uh, helped out quite a bit in this game. She's I, I honestly love Matt and Ranja. They're they're so they're just great people. The translations, which are uh, <laughs> currently uncredited. Uh, some other stuff here. Some special thanks. And NASA. Interesting. <clears throat> El Piers, hey, that's me. Well, will be me at least. And then, okay, it just loops. Um, Patreon, Discord, Steam. Yeah, it's on. It's officially on Steam. I don't think it's up with a release date yet. Um, but actually, you know what? I could check that. Uh, you can actually check that to confirm if it has a release date or not. Nope, late 2018. So it's going to be out this year. Uh, which I mean, if you see the the game, you you can see why it's it's very largely done. <laughs> so we'll definitely be covering it this year, but anywho, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the main game here. So he actually has all the cutscenes, or at least, presumably all the cutscenes. So you can hear some really snazzy music. But yeah, Fruin are in here in the background here, which is interesting. Uh, neat looking boss here. Matt's taking on a tough, tough looking boss here. Uh, if he loses, he's gonna be trapped here forever, that's no good. Stab him in the eye. There's a lot of eyes, so that seems pretty easy. And haha, he's playing a video game. Got him. Pretty uh, nice looking uh, NES game, I must admit. <laughs> 23 tries. Bit of a tricky game, though, I suppose. Mm. What was this? And then something, I believe. Uh, well, we'll find out in a bit. I, I played like the first like 20 seconds of this off, off stream, or off screen, just to see. Uh, Hope Harbor, so that's presumably where we're taking where it takes place here. Yeah, he's only mad about his TV. So also, it should be said, I believe this 
this is a full, like, basically, this is like a reset of the entire in-game universe. So, Matt's currently by himself, um, and he, he doesn't know any of the other people yet, he doesn't have any equipment. This is literally like a brain, so like the stuff in the previous games hasn't happened yet, there's no, at least as far as I'm aware, um, these guys haven't encountered Akron, they haven't encountered Lance, you know, when he was in his little phase, where he was, uh, completely evil. <clears throat> hasn't found Anna. None of that stuff has happened. Nothing with Godcat, it, this is a complete reset. Anyway, I kind of paused there for a bit, because I noticed in the background of the song, it actually has the, um, um the song from the third game of the beach area, and it was one of my favorite songs in the game, so that just made me really happy. Uh, anywho, sorry. <clears throat> I'm gushing. I've, I've been a fan of these games for pretty, since I was in, like, elementary school. Um, anywho, so this is his house. Uh, plenty of interactables. You can get a cup of coffee there. Revives you with 30%. It actually tells you how much HP you get back now, which is nice. Uh, everything's done in, in percents here. Um, so you, you now know exactly what you're getting out of all your items. Of course, there's this little hidden room. Not very hidden, but you know what I mean. <laughs> get a flare and a belt buckle. We get the bandage here. Earth, death, and doom resistance. I think that's pretty standard. Okay, I'm back here. Uh, we can go ahead and equip that. Show off a little bit of the menuing here before we get uh, too into it. Uh, we got his... Oh. And the computer still comes back. Check it from the other side, but uh, yeah, not gonna, not gonna do a whole lot of good there, buddy. <laughs> High tech gaming console. So we got a piece of newspaper here. Uh, which, yeah, huge meteorite strikes the southern continent. Uh, apparently, he already has the newspaper for this, even though it just happened, and it's already a worldwide phenomena. So uh, I guess that stuff spreads quick around here. God, this song makes me so happy. That was one of my favorite songs from the third game. Um, we find a right sock in here. Is that a quest? Thing? It is, huh? <laughs> so that's interesting. Just found a sock. And then here we have the left sock. Nothing more, nothing less. I actually don't remember those being in there the first time. I played the demo, like I said, very briefly a while ago. I think he recently updated it. So the demo is, like I said, it's a public beta. So this is, I'll have a link to it in the description. This is accessible for everyone. But um, beforehand, it was actually only linked in the Discord. So only people in the Discord knew about it. Um, it is public beta, but uh, but it was just recently. I think he posted about it like on Twitter and stuff, so it's actually like very public now. But anywho, <laughs> so here we are. Here's the starting location, Hope Harbor. As you can see, it does kind of have uh, the seaside beachy feel, which explains the uh, the song. But oh man, this music is just fantastic. <laughs> so here we have his buddy Jeff, apparently. Um, this stuff's going down, man. Let's see, I gotta get that fixed. Yep, yep, yep. Weird cat. Hmm. Wonder who that might be. Fine dinner. Okay, so we'll go ahead and wander around here. I didn't. I didn't really plan out ahead of time how far into the game I want to get. I want to make sure I'm heavily limiting myself to how, to the progress I make. But um. <clears throat> okay, so here we need the ladder. Pretty pretty standard procedure there. So up here we see there's actually another house. I kind of want to check that out. This is as far as I made it down here, and then that was the last I, I played of the demo. So uh, there's a thing here. Oh. Also a key item. Wow, okay. You can see there's a lot of key items in this game, so that's kind of, uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> Excuse me, I woke up only just a bit ago, so I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit funny at the moment. Apparently Jerry lives here. Uh, box. So it's kind of funky. I'm bobbing right now, but I forgot I don't actually have my face cam on right now, so. This is really nice. Can't go into the house. Can't even interact with it at all. Need a shovel for that. <laughs> no, it's well tropic. East is whole part of the south is the frozen valley. Mm. Interesting. Okay, so we got some chests here. Medical and recreational ease. I don't know where that's supposed to be. Seashell. Uh, how do we get up there? Oh, okay. Right here. Uh, so let's see. Let's solve this uh, little puzzle here. There's going to be a fair bit of uh, block sliding puzzles in this game. Here we get another flare, the Lucky Clover. <laughs> uh, gives the player blessed status. Okay. Might as well go ahead and equip that. Oops. 
yeah, the, I'll go, I'll do a once over of the, um, the interfaces and stuff. Um, a bit later on, I do want to show off actual gameplay here. I think we'll end it off with that, because I think most of the interfaces are going to be very similar, if not the same as what they were in the, uh, in the bad, no, the map demo. <clears throat> Huge fireball in the sky. That's just the sun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. Your charm never ceases to amuse me. <laughs> okay. One might even call it. You might call them foes. Drop loot once they're defeated. It's time to get back to it. I feel like the music just changed a bit when we came out here. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe it's just convenient timing. Uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and check out some enemy encounters here. Okay, different different uh, battle entry animation there. These rocks trying to fight me. Okay, this is actually the first time I'm getting into a battle in this. Oh, okay. Um, besides the battle demo, of course. So you have our equip menus, item menus. Don't have, I have one shuriken. That's interesting. I think he started with that in his inventory, actually. As well as um, one of these drinks. I can't remember. So he starts out with a, a small handful of skills, which is pretty nice. Steel item, temper, tremor, geyser, and protect. I went over all, all the stuff pretty in-depth in some of my previous videos, so I'll be linking to some of those in the description as well as the end slate if you guys want to check those out. Um, we can't actually scan anything yet. Oh, no, never mind. We can't. I forgot. It's a tactic now. So let's go ahead and scan these guys. X-rated. Oh. That was exciting. Just, you know, we're playing on normal right now. When I do the actual gameplay, I'm going to be playing on epic. But um, <clears throat> for right now, at least, we're, we're sticking to normal. <laughs> What's that above my head? A status effect? And then, yeah, it just tells you you can do that. So we're blessed thanks to our um, our flare that we put on the Lucky Clover, I believe. So this is, prevents us from being inflicted by most statuses, including death and dispel, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we scan these guys. Let's see what they got here. Uh, head to solve problems. Yeah, it literally uses its head to attack. So weak only to ice and explosion. Resistant to some pretty basic stuff. Okay, so I don't think we have anything effective against him. No, we only got water and earth, so we'll just... Uh, then with a regular attack. We're not too worried about these guys. Yeah. <laughs> not too worried at all. Okay. So, I'll just finish this guy off here. Oop. Not resistant to water, though, so water could have been an okay choice. This classic sound here is the... Yep, exactly the same. Fantastic. Or... I'm trying to listen. There might be a little bit of a different, different tune to it this time. By new background sounds, I can't tell, but it's largely the same victory sing song we uh, we know and love. So really quick, we'll actually take a little pause here to show. Normally in these games, you're used to starting with some amount of equipment. You actually start with nothing in this game. You don't start with any alternate equips, which is interesting because you, at least the past couple games you have. I guess that's not much of a precedence, but it's something. Uh, but you can find some flares pretty early on, which is nice. Summons we have none of. Skills. You know, just kind of shows what we already have. We actually, yeah, we only have two AP. We actually already start with a limit break, though, which is interesting. Uh, I didn't even realize that until I actually, normally you have to, I don't think you start with a limit break. I, I, I could be wrong on that. I could just be not remembering correctly. Uh, some, some base skills, there's extra skills, which he already has one of. He has protect already. Um, stats, pretty basic stuff. Shows your resistances to things. Mouse over and actually tells you what they are, which is nice. <laughs> Most things are doubled up in this game, so you resist multiple things at once. Um, besides, stun actually is the only one that's by itself. Uh, items, can you go ahead and show these off quick? Stat boosting items, healing items, which don't have any much for that. Crafting items, that's where the belt buckle went if you wondered. And then, scatter old boots, doesn't actually do. I wonder what happens if you actually didn't have the boots. <laughs> Like, if you could, like, hack the game and get rid of the boots, or if there's ever a point in the game where you don't have the boot. I see something over here. <laughs> Interesting. So you get the world map, and then this is the stuff we found since then. And then the forge. Can't do any of this right now, but you can upgrade all your stuff. This kind of tells you right off the bat, you know, all the weapon types that are going to be in the game. You got the map. Um, oh! Oh! That's so cool! I had no idea you could do that. Um, I actually never looked at this map because I forgot the map actually wasn't in any of the previous demos. Oh, that's really cool. So you can mark stuff on the map where there's a point of interest, like there's this thing right here, so we can mark that on the map. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. That's such a good feature. 
Oh, that makes me really happy. Oh, also, every every area has a little mouse over. Shows your current goal, which we're looking for up here, and then finish the quests. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that. That that makes me very happy. See, we have quests here, bestiary. Not much of that so far, but uh, shows you all the stats. We got our medals, we got our records, <coughs> chests and secrets found, entries, all this stuff. Apparently there's an endless battle in this mode, not surprising. We have our options again, and then save. We'll go ahead and drop a save here, sure. Uh, we have our party, only one of right now, of course. And that appears to be it. So, okay, there's a quick quick once over the map, uh, the, the menuing. Secret thing here. Uh, first healing items. 300 HP and at least 20% of their max HP. So yeah, that's the thing in this game. <gasps> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, is that all healing items heal a base amount, but then they also do a percentage. Um, so I noticed they actually says 300 and at least 20%. I thought this was an or thing, so like whichever one healed more, but it actually seems like it's in addition to, which is interesting if that's the case. It might just be, uh, you know, something with the wording that's not entirely accurate. I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Some sort of crime. That's a bit of a strange looking fellow. Let's go ahead and scan him up here. <coughs> Not a cat. I really like these little pop ups I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's see what this guy. Hermit creep. Okay. Not social. Got a lot of water tags. Quite a few weaknesses. Weak to earth, which is convenient for us. So, this will probably just kill it here. Oh, actually, not. It's got a good bit of health. I just smashed the ground as hard as I could. I can go into the ground here in the, uh, this dock, which is impressive. <laughs> Defensive. Alright, uh, this should still finish him off. Even with the defense. I didn't actually mouse over what that was. Probably just reduced. So with the stuff they drop, you can mouse over and pick them up. I think at the end of the battle, or at various times, it'll pick them up automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, little nice little thing you can do in the middle of a battle. <laughs> okay. Iron plates... Pumpkins. Okay, so there's something in the map demo we could do if you investigate these guys enough where they turn absolutely evil and horrifying, and I want to see if that's actually in the game as well. I'm guessing it is. But it is a little bit, uh, it was a little bit, uh, disturbing last I saw it. it. Doesn't appear to be any achievement related to this, unless maybe when you get them angry is when the achievement goes off. <laughs> I also noticed now that the chest we just opened uh, gets very dull and like desaturated when you when you open it, which is nice because basically, so once you open a chest, you're never gonna accidentally confuse it for an unopened chest. Okay, I'm not seeing it do anything. It might still do something, but I don't feel like just sitting here clicking it. So, <laughs> okay, so we have uh, can't even eat them. Got a new type of slime here, like, uh, beachside watery slime. Sea slime, something like that, I can't remember. No matters at all. I can't remember exactly what these guys are called. Let's see. Ah, just water slime, okay. Not safe for drinking. Explosion, ice, and electricity, once again, doesn't do us any good. Uh, I think probably a regular attack is gonna be our best bet here. Okay. Okay, so I think we're gonna pick up our new, our little friend up here, and then we'll do. Oh, this is actually a second wave here. <clears throat> And then we will do like one or two more battles and then we'll call it there. So I'm going to keep it relatively short, but I do want to get to show off a good bit of the game to you guys. Because I am very excited about this game. Um, I guess now I can actually talk about a, a bit of my plans ahead of time. So like I said, I'm going to do a, a separate video about this later. I plan on, as the day the game comes out, I'm going to be back in college. I was hoping it was going to come out before I went back. But, uh, this guy has been stealing my trash. Oh, we actually have to fight him? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Alright, so we get to fight the little guy here. But, um... I plan on... The day the game comes out, as soon as I'm able to, I'm going to... Check my eyes. <clears throat> okay, hold on, sorry. I want to check this out. So he's weak to water. Intense fighting to it resonates with yours. Okay. Seems like a... Seems like a, a nice fellow. Actually dodged, yeah. What is, wait, what is, oh, does this show that they have an item I can steal? Hold on. Okay, maybe I'll talk about my plans in a little bit here. Uh, it's got a little box here. I'm not sure what this means. I can't tell what the, when you're in full screen, for some reason, it's at like a lower resolution. 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe it just means it's like a significant encounter. I'm not sure what this symbol down here means. But, um... <coughs> ah, surrender. Oh. It's afraid... Oh, okay, so if you hit it with a water attack, it looks like you beat it instantly. That's pretty cool. Makes sense, too. I really like that. Okay, so we just gotta level up there. Probably a cutscene? Yes. <laughs> Trick me with your crocodile tears. <coughs> What's your name? No legs, what a strange effort. So apparently he can understand what the cat's saying. <laughs> Those sad eyes. Meow. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we got no legs in our party. Crispy bacon. Oh, I forgot. That's right. Yeah, all the stat items in this game are actually per party member. So you can't uh, give them to whoever you want. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and take a peek at No Legs, what he's got. He doesn't come with any alternate equips, it doesn't look like. Oh, but he can equip mad stuff, so they can potentially swap equipment. Uh, actually, I don't think he can remove stuff, so I actually think they're stuck with what they got right now. <laughs> um, and then we could look at some of his... Oh! <laughs> That's really cute. That's a really big fly. Um, we could check out his skills real quick here, what he starts with. He's got Barrier as, his, as an extra skill he's got. Got the destroyer limit break, uh, jump attack, sword play, and cherish. Pretty nice. Oh, and normal attack. Oh, right. it's just a normal attack, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> no, but yeah, as soon as I'm able to cover the game when it comes out, I plan on doing. Um, I plan on streaming it and doing a video on it. Um, I think I might do the video first, but I, I haven't fully figured out the order that I want to cover this stuff in quite yet. Um, I'm still thinking, again, it's, it's going to heavily depend on when the game comes out. I'm praying that the game comes out a day that I'm there, so it comes out either on a Friday or a weekend, so that I can, I really can cover it, like, super early. I'm really hoping it is. I, all I can do is hope for that, but, um, ah, limit break fill up, that's pretty nice. And it scorches out, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that I'm going to be able to do that. So I'll, again, I'll have more details of that later on, but that's kind of what you can expect. I'm going to be streaming and recording the day it comes out. So I'm going to have everything covered here. Uh, okay, so we walked into a place that had like a, a Lego, I mean a, a generic building brick on the, the sign outside. <clears throat> Skull, I've already got one. Got like a little N64 here. Uh, has more bits. Uh, sure thing, man. Chainwood items. <clears throat> uh, greedy and obsessed with collecting things. Uh, does she say anything else? No, okay. Alright, so material shops. This is where you just buy some regular stuff here. Uh, don't need to worry about any of this right now, of course. <clears throat> solid, yet it's crystal clear. Of course, they still got the liquid ice and presumably the... Yep, solid water. I really like that. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it just sells basic stuff. Uh, you can also sell stuff here. Nothing too crazy there, but... Uh, I was interesting that the buildings appear to be in a different, completely different map now, as opposed to being before you walked in and it would like fade in and, and show that the building was just on the open world map. But, um. Cats love filth. Uh, does it show this on the map? Nope, okay. <laughs> so it's just kind of like a little separate area. I see that down there. So, food shop, uh, just buy healing items. You can just cooldowns. Something you may not know if you haven't been following this game too much is that mana, you may notice that I already there's no mana in this game at all. Mana does not exist. Um, all your skills are on cooldowns now. So you have this to reduce an allies' cooldowns, reduces all cooldowns. <clears throat> you can also be stuffed in this game, where if you're stuffed, basically you cannot use healing items, I believe, or any sort of food items. So you see, this reduces your cooldowns by two, which is a very strong effect, but you get stuffed, so you can't heal with it. And then, same with these really powerful healing items, you get stuffed for a certain amount of turns after using them. So a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff at play in this game. <clears throat> so let's see what's up here. Oh, it's like a little inn. Okay. Ah. Uh, crafted rats for the water. Okay. Strange noise that he makes there. <clears throat> no chance to eat in ages. So these are just like uh, like some stranded pirates after the meteor landed. It's a nice painting of some uh, solid ice here. Or solid water. Uh, well, it actually turns out it's not a painting. <laughs> Have looked in there. Okay. Interesting. Apparently there's something not very nice in that sink. Uh, and then let's check this chest here. Uh, cool headband. Is that a... 
Huh, okay, so we're getting, we've got two socks and a headband. I'm not really sure we're collecting all these strange, uh, like, menial clothing items for. So let's go ahead and check up here. Like I said, I'm gonna be ending off pretty soon here. I, I really want to keep going. This is, this is really tough for me. Uh, wondering, what's that? Um, no. You can adventure by one. Oh, okay, so it's just for walking out of our home area here. Fried egg and a flare. Ooh, battle paint. <laughs> Let's play a brave status. Huh, I wonder if that, um... Nice, that's really cool. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to this to you, sure. That's right, so it actually gives, like, a little bit of pain on, on the, the character's face. That's really nice. Okay, so we're gonna do, like, one or two battles over here with a new character, and then we're gonna end it off. It's, I, I have to try really hard to stop bad, to stop playing here, you guys. I am, I am beyond excited about this game. Uh, so around here, we can actually wander around a bit. <laughs> Uh, we'll do this like little caterpillar encounter and then we'll check out this turtle and see the chest there and then I think we'll call it good there. Okay, so we got a new enemy here. Let's go ahead and scan him. Just like little, uh, nice little caterpillar guys. Featured worm. Pathetically weak enemy. <laughs> Painful poison stings. Okay, so they can also call for help from each other. They're weak to what? Earth and fire. Okay. Um, and your new focus target dies because an extra hit forever foe killed. These, his jump attack type stuff is pretty cool. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and try that, see if we can kill something with it. Ah, uh, not quite, okay. But basically a good way to set up for this is to have people weaken uh, enemies, and then you can get them to attack one, and then you can potentially leap across a bunch. So let's go ahead and hit this guy with this and see if that uh, would be shake off his feet if he had any. Okay, so now if we use this, if it goes to that one. No, okay. It would have gotten, killed this one, and then gone to this one, and then gotten three hits still, so... <clears throat> oh, okay, well, they surrendered, so that's the thing in this game. I think if if they start to lose allies and they're they're weak, they have a chance to start surrendering. Uh, I want to try capturing. I forgot to try that in that in that fight. <clears throat> that's like the old, only other major game mechanic I haven't had a chance to dabble in yet. Uh, that's how much life we have? Thank you, Matt, for telling me how life bars work. <laughs> okay. Any creep? So, tactic. So, it's just a tactic. Capture foe. You can also skip turn, switch player, flee, defend, all that basic stuff you'd expect. Um, so that's probably easy to capture. Some foes can't, some foes can't be captured. I actually didn't know that. Because it sounds, from the sounds of it, you can even capture bosses in some cases. So, <clears throat> the, the capture mechanic is going to be a really interesting one to mess around with when the game first comes out. Or, like, when I first, yeah, when it first officially comes out and I'm actually doing stuff about, doing stuff with the game. So let's try and weaken this guy a bit more. Uh, actually, you know what? Let, let's go for the capture here. Ah, okay. All right, we'll weaken him again. <laughs> I want to get a successful capture before we end it off here. So we're just going to do a regular attack here. Okay, he's not getting any weaker than he is right now. Nice. We got him. Okay, and you still get the loot. Uh, you can give him a nickname, which is nice. Uh, let's give him a nice little nickname here. Thorny Crepe. <laughs> Okay, so now, can we immediately... Yeah, we can immediately use him in battle. We don't actually have enough SP total. We don't have enough SP to our name to be able to cap, uh, use him. Um, and, alright, like, you know, let's end it off with the... Actually, hold on. Can we... We can switch order, right? Yeah, okay. So let's... I want to get a nice, satisfying hit with that uh, limit break. And Oh, oh, that means if you have or haven't captured them yet, I think. Okay. Alright, I'm starting to... Starting to figure stuff out here. Actually, didn't kill him. Oh, okay. He does have the defense buff there, so shouldn't be too surprised. Oh, he just has an electric attack. Oh, yeah, okay, I didn't actually read his description. Okay. Alright, let's just finish him off here. Oh my god, guys, I'm just... Oh god. I am genuinely... I, I, just, I just keep... I just keep gushing about that. I am beyond excited to play this game. Just everything about this game. It just feels good to play. I... It hurts me to stop. I... It really does. I'm, I'm not kidding with you guys. We're gonna do one more. One more, one more. Uh, I just wanna see if I can confirm whether or not that cap that little box actually is what that means. Because these guys don't have it at all. So, uh, you know, let's just try out of the blue capture on this bush. Ah, okay. So sometimes it catches right away, but sometimes it shakes, and maybe we'll still catch it. So you actually have, you never know. I, like, so my only reference is Pokemon, where it always shakes three times, 
and then catches if it's gonna catch. But in this game, you actually have no idea how many times it's gonna shake, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, might sometimes scream at you, weak to earth, standard stuff. I'm, I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch. It's gonna be tricky to weaken these bushes, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're not catching a bush. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we'll just try a regular attack, see if we can catch this guy. Alright, alright, alright. Whoops, no, no, no. Let's capture him. Easy peasy. Uh, uh, stone idiot. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, I, I have to end it. I have to. I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep playing this game if I don't end it off. Alright, really quick, let's just check out our summons. So you see, even the stone idiots cost uh, 24 SP. So that's quite expensive for just like a really basic enemy. So basically, you can capture stuff this early on, but um, it seems unlikely that you'll actually be able to make much use of it. Um, okay, I keep wanting to just go a little bit further. I can't do it. I, oh, man. Okay. This video is already a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, okay, guys. Oh, thank you, everyone, very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch.tv channel, where currently I am streaming uh, my playthrough of La Milana 2 for the first time. Uh, but like I said, once this game comes out, I will be streaming it day one, as soon as I can. And I, I will also be uploading video. The Twitch and the YouTube will be separate. You know, sometimes I upload Twitch VODs to YouTube. I won't be doing that this time. It will be a completely separate playthrough for the two. Um, so you'll be getting completely different content on Twitch and YouTube. Um, but if you watch on Twitch, you can experience a lot of this stuff with me live. You know, as I'm figuring stuff out, you can give me pointers, all that, uh, and all that stuff. So, I'd really appreciate to see you guys out there. Uh, I typically stream, uh, 8 to 12 p.m. EST. Um, that, I might be changing up those hours very slightly, but it'll be in that time range. Um, and then, like I said, on the day this game comes out, I'm going to be streaming it as much as physically possible. So that's going to be like an all-day stream, basically. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys there. And check the end slate and description for various links, like to this game, to the, the bu public beta, if you want to check it out, um, to some of my previous videos I've done, where I've done very in-depth coverage of some of the other aspects of the game, like uh, skills and all the menuing and uh, equipment and stuff like that. Um... But yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys later.